Hey guys, Ross here. Thanks for joining me for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to feature Mammoth Soap's Tobacconist. So I've got the soap loaded up here in my Omega Evo synthetic brush here. Probably loaded for about 45 seconds. Uh, looks like we got plumbing on here, so we're going to get right into it. All right, so Tobacconist comes to us in Mammoth Soap's most recent soap base, known as Tusk. And I've actually had the opportunity of trying this base before, but only a couple times, and those shaves that I had with it were far and few between so it's been a little while since using this but i am uh, definitely looking forward to revisiting it and uh, especially talk about this scent offering as the the name implies tobacconist this is a tobacco Ford scent. The notes are tobacco absolute. Cedar wood. Amber. Coumarin. Spice. Heliotrope. Benzoin and musk. I believe that's all the notes. If not, I'll be sure to uh, to put it in the description if I missed any. What I can say off the bat is this is the most realistic tobacco scent that I've probably ever put my nose to. This has been a big year of uh, tobacco scents for me personally. I've just really been enjoying them for some reason a little bit more this year. And uh, I think some of the offerings that have come out have just been awesome. All very unique in their own way. And this one is absolutely no exception. This, uh, I've actually had this soap for two or three weeks now and just have not gotten around to using it, but in a weird way, it actually kind of worked out really well because this, although this is very tobacco heavy, I think with the spices and sort of the combination of the other notes, this almost has sort of a, a fall festive vibe to it for me. Uh, this seems very, very appropriate for this time of the year. It's only early fall, but it's still, it's starting to cool off, especially in the evenings and when you wake up in the morning, at least here on the East Coast. But uh, it is, it is really, it's a wonderful scent and uh, I'm a big fan of it. As you can see, I have been adding a good bit of water. Could probably even add just a little bit more. Starting to get a little bit of the uh, translucency with it. So it is definitely nice and hydrated. It can definitely take a good bit of water. So if you tend to overload like I do, there's really no fear of uh, breaking the lather because you can certainly build it up and keep adding water to it. I'm working with about three days worth of growth. Today the razor is going to be the Blackland Blackbird Titanium with a Gillette Silver Blue on its second use. So let's get into more about the soap. So as I mentioned this is in the Tusk base. This is a tallow based soap and also contains duck fat. 
So those are probably the two big ones you'll want to know. As I mentioned, uh, I probably spent about 45 seconds lathering it up. But it does look like I got plenty on my brush for the duration of this shave. So I would definitely say fairly easy to uh, to lather. Like I said, it does take as almost as much water as you need to dial it into your preference. The slickness is excellent. I certainly have favorable first impressions of it uh, from the other occasions that I was able to use it and give it a shot. The lather definitely feels nice and dense. The scent strength is, um, I would say it's probably middle of the road. I think tobacco, depending on how sensitive you are to it, it certainly could come off pretty strong. But uh, for me, it definitely seems mid, maybe mid strong, five or six out of 10. Just a, a really, really wonderful scent. And so far, this just my razors is gliding. No issues whatsoever with slickness. Short side story, I was actually uh, very fortunate years ago, I want to say three or four years ago now, to uh, to actually be able to try and um, test for Mammoth before the Mammoth name was even around. Then the, uh, the man behind Mammoth was uh, kind enough to send me some of his various scents and uh, versions of the base that he was working on at the time. So it's been uh, really cool to see how far he's uh, come with soap making. And actually I should correct myself. Uh, It is no longer Mammoth Soaps, but it is the House of Mammoth, as he's really expanded the to more or less fragrances, and not just for soaps, but for EDPs and They also offer balms, which I'll be using today. And they now also offer splashes, which is fairly recent. I know that uh, they work with Chicago Grooming Company, formerly Oleo Soapworks, for the post shave. which is also a joy to use. There we go. Yeah, this, this scent is, it is just amazing. Really enjoying it. All right, here we go for pass two. One other thing to note with House of Mammoth, I've been able to review them previously, 
Um, but House of Mammoth continues to donate to various organizations that work to combat trafficking. And so I know that they donate, I believe, a dollar per jar of soap sold and uh, a certain percentage from their EDPs as well. And that's on top of also running uh, usually raffles prior to uh, new releases, which is quite admirable. And I know they raise quite a bit of money. So that is always good to see artisans giving back and working towards a cause. It's always tricky down here with my Adam's apple, so. Mine tends to be a little bit pronounced here, so I tend to stretch my skin one way or the other to try to get that area that would otherwise sort of be in the groove. Yeah, I'm very much enjoying this shave. And if you're if you're a tobacco fan, I think this uh, this is a wonderful offering. It's nice and easy. Sorry for the silence there. Mustache is always a tricky area. Feel around. Man, just a phenomenal shave. Yeah, I'm really pleased with where that's at. So I'm just gonna rinse off and we'll uh, get to the post shave. Oh yeah, I can still feel the slickness from the soap. It is, uh, it's amazing. All right, so as I mentioned, House of Mammoth does offer post-shave products as well. This one originally came out with just the balm, but I do believe that fairly recently, within maybe the last week or two, um, they have released splashes. So they will now be offering splashes in addition to balms and EDPs for, I believe, all of their scents moving forward. But got the balm today, so we'll be putting just a little bit of that on. It is it is open here, so this, uh, this won't come out too quickly, but it doesn't hurt to put a finger on it just to make sure not a lot comes out. I still managed to get a little bit extra anyway, so that's that's what I've got. It's gonna spread this on my hands and then just work it in oh yeah I get uh I get a little bit more of the cedar wood in the spl in the uh, balm it smells fantastic and this balm I've uh I've actually got the unscented version from Chicago grooming company and it is absolutely wonderful it it really just soaks in just gives the uh, po shave just 
just makes it the cherry on top. All right, well, that's it for me, guys. Again, today we used House of Mammoth Tobacconist. Really great scent. If you're into tobacco scents, I would highly recommend it. All right, well, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the shave. I know I did. Look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.